Hello, and welcome to another chapter in our series of tutorials that will help you get familiar with using Corel's Photo Album 7. In today's short lesson, we're going to get familiar with the Create tab in Photo Album. The Create tab is the last of the four tabs or work areas in Photo Album, and it's where you get to create beautiful print pieces of your memories. Many of these can still be put to CD or DVD if you wish. Let me show you how this works. Now here's another example where you can launch your project from either the Start Wizard or navigate from inside the main application window. I prefer, though, starting these projects in the main window, so let's go there. In the Create tab, we again, as in all the other tabs, have sharing choices appropriate for our work here. And again, we have a new tab at the top that's being created for this project. As with the Show tab that's created when working here, each of these can be saved independently and reopened right back in each of the appropriate work areas. Okay, let's take a look at possible projects. The top row of layouts is pretty obvious, so let's try the calendar. Simply click on Calendar, and it defaults the current month and year, which is where I'll also begin. And a layout shows up, and all I need to do is drag and drop any of my photographs right onto it, and automatically fits the frame fills the frame, I should say, and I have a few tools here that pop up automatically that I can use for adjustments. I want to add another page. I simply go to Add Page, and from here I can actually choose another layout. Under Select Layout, let's try this one. Let's get another photograph, drag and drop it. So I've grabbed my Zoom tool. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Let's grab my Panning tool, and excellent. Perfect. And I can also preview my pages by going back and forth here. And as you can see here, I have a lot of different layouts to choose from that come in Photo Album 7. Collages are also fun. Here again, I have multiple different layouts to choose from. And I simply just start filling in the photographs. So much fun. Magazine covers are really fun, too. Again, another masterpiece. I can even create certificates from in Photo Album 7. Very good. Greeting cards are great because it's a template that automatically prints the photograph on just one half of a page, allowing you to fold the card in half and make a greeting card. Now, scrapbooks have been very popular for a long time, and now digital scrapbooks are catching on due to the fact that they're fast, easy, and give you the ability to share your memories much easier via email, CD, and DVD. Sandra Magsman has graciously allowed us to include a few from her collection. Photo Album itself has a great collection of scrapbook pages that you can use. Our friends from Smallbox Online Designs have a huge collection that are very reasonably priced, with new collections coming out at least monthly. I highly recommend them. What's also nice is a lot of their scrapbook collections include animated features. Well, there you have it. Stay tuned for our next lesson when I'm going to show you how to integrate Paint Shop Pro Photo with your photos in Photo Album, allowing you to make changes there and automatically update them back here in Photo Album 7. Thanks again, and have a lot of fun.